It's been over a year since Russia launched its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, and as the war has evolved, so too has a humanitarian situation on the ground. The threat of Russian missile strikes at damage to critical infrastructure has proven a consistent challenge for aid workers who themselves aren't immune from the threats. William Denzel reports from Kyiv. <laughs> It's designed to be a one-stop shop. People here can receive items like clothes, cookware, toys and hygiene products. But legal and mental health services are also available. The Enjoying Life Foundation opened this care support centre in a shopping mall in Kyiv just weeks after the full-scale invasion last February. There are more than 200,000 internally displaced people in the capital alone. The group says providing assistance for them has gotten tougher. В последнее время стало немножко посложнее добывать помощь, потому что международные э, донаты э, Киев уже рассматривают в меньшей мере, потому что он не оккупирован и как бы не прифронтовая зона. Но Киев продолжает наполняться переселенцами. Наталья Аникиева is one of the roughly 100 volunteers working here. She is from Mariupol a port city now under Russian control. Forced to leave her hometown, she says she's been working here every day since June. This is psychotherapy for many here. Кроме этого всего, нас очень объединила тут очень большая часть переселенцы. Вот это горе нас очень объединила. У нас уже здесь получается как своя семья. Many established aid organizations across Ukraine were forced to pivot when the conflict escalated to serve millions of people suddenly in need of assistance. This organization has been providing hot meals for Kyiv's elderly residents since 2017. But after the full-scale invasion, it began offering services for people fleeing from other parts of the country. NGOs on the ground have also been adapting to the elements and changing nature of the conflict over the past year. Protection services, cash assistance and the distribution of winter items are among the ways the International Rescue Committee is currently helping local populations. More than 5 million people in the country remain internally displaced, with over 17 million in need of urgent humanitarian assistance. We noticed a, a big change in autumn last year when the repeated and systematic attacks started on civilian infrastructure, including um, supply systems for water, for power, for heating, um, for gas. NGOs say that's causing high levels of trauma and stress for people across Ukraine, including for aid workers. Thousands of homes have been damaged or destroyed across the country leaving many humanitarian workers themselves directly impacted by the conflict. But while some of those here have lost much, they remain committed to helping others. William Denslow, CNA, Kyiv.